we've got a green light northbound for Amtrak. It'll be a while before they get here, though. Probably less than 10 minutes. Not a bad start to a Friday morning. Here at the Brown Street level crossing. Once again, birds and crickets. I'm out here by myself. Which is fine. Might be a, an occasion to straggler or pedestrian walk through. I don't know why they won't use the sidewalk up there on Oliver Hill Way. It's fairly level and maybe it's all traffic. But yeah, this little area is a nice place to walk. You could walk down 16th Street, which is uh, right back there. Alright, I reckon they're clear Coney Island, which I've always thought was kind of weird around here. I always thought that was only up in New York. I think, they're I think they're approaching Main Street Station now. Hey, Floyd, you stand for no. Hey, one and three, you got engineer hit. I got one four two here in the lead. One four two in the lead. Northbound at Main two 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 zero. SRM one dot two to SRM one dot five. Max Main two train and clear and clear. Oh yeah, he's pretty close. Anyways, uh, 16th Street, other side of the track there, between uh, track two and track one. I guess two is main. But anyways, that's another subject. 16th is a nice little walk. You could take it down there and walk under track one and uh, take an immediate left. It's cobblestone. If you take a right, it's all uh, crushed granite. And that'll take you up the uh, west side of the tracks here. Probably all the way to Hospital Street. Here he is. Probably on the platform by now. But if you take left and go down to Cobblestone Street, it'll take you all the way down to Broad. And uh, there's no crosswalk there. But you can take a right onto the uh, brick walkway. And... Uh, It'll take you down around under Broad Street, which also used to be a sidetrack that would take you down to the SCL dock uh, for the Southern Coastline. They have their own older depot over there that's uh, private business now, or private businesses. There is still an office building on the south side, two or three stories, I don't remember, but uh, that's where that sidewalk will take you after leaving 16th. Uh, it'll also take you down past the uh, Old Slave Cemetery and the jail at the corner of 16th and Broad, which is just a little small building. I suppose that's what's left of it. I'm not sure. But uh, also down to the SCL, the Main Street Station parking lot. And then just beyond that is Main Street. Okay, 
it looks like, from what I can tell, maybe they're at the platform. Down there in Main Street Station. It's all elevated above ground. It's uh, platforms on the second story. Interestingly enough, <clears throat> as I've walked down there before, it looks like they used to have tracks that would uh, switch off the mains and the uh, uh, track two into the center of the station. Uh, it's all enclosed now. I believe it's all glass windows and uh, metallic roof top. And uh, on the other end of the station, I think the I think the three or four story section of that particular building was built at some time after the fact because there's remnants of Swiss tracks on both the north and south side of the platform. You might even able to look at uh, Google Maps the satellite view and zoom in and see where all the four switch tracks were but now they just use the uh, main track and track two to get around the uh, station down there and there's actually room enough on both trestles for two separate lines but uh, I think they only currently run uh, not two separate tracks on each trestle but one there's room enough built, they just don't utilize it. There's also room enough for a broad walkway, either between the tracks or one side or another. <clears throat> of course, that's closed. I've shown photographs before, uh, probably on the Facebook account. But the walkway is closed to pedestrians. At least it is from this end. And probably the other end uh, at the platform. I'm sure there's quite a bit a lot more history to Main Street Station down here than what I've just revealed in this video. I've had a neighbor that's been inside. He's been on these trains. Says it's all nice. Shout out to James, by the way. I know that was a lot of fun. And I've seen some uh, new snippets, probably not videos yet, I've seen videos of the new Acela trains, and uh, they've got some, some even newer rail cars coming out for Amtrak. Uh, I think they've built one representation, and they're trying to sell it to some company. I think it's probably Siemens. They might be making contracts to build those newer cars. Uh, perhaps for this line particularly, I know all their cars are old. I don't know how old they are. But it may not be too many years before they all get replaced. And there will be an all new uh, train set, if you want to call them, instead of what we'll see here in just a minute. I mean, these are relatively new, anyways, but far different chain was back in the, uh, oh gosh, back in the 70s, I think, when they started. And they were using 20 and 30 year old engines and passenger cars back then when they started maybe F9 or F7 engines and old carriages from eras past they get up here to this this particular block they'll change channels I guess they do that every time they change blocks or every so many so miles. Ahead. Clean, clear, let's depart. Plain English. N174 also got JM Houston on the other side. Okay, by him at uh, 654. Go to 36. Alright, watch that. Okay, by 654. Thank you. Any moment now. Track is already beginning to light. You can always see the sheen of that top of the track as the headlights beam around the corner there. We've got crossing activation, lights only.
already hear the bell. <laughs> Where he said lead engine was 174 and not 142. <laughs> and that truck just passed overhead. That was kind of loud. It's a compression brake. Still not a very good focus, but ah, that's all I got. Pass the signal. Signal probably dropped. I can't see it from here. Not from this angle. I desperately need a tripod or a gimbal or something. There's this morning's excitement. There will be others. I don't know if I'll have time to catch in the day, but I sure will try. curvy track. You'd think down through here it'd be a, nearly a straight shot, but <clears throat> it certainly is not. Another note. Where in the world is the default detector? That one turned off. Do I have the wrong channel in the scanner? They're not all in this one, but... And it's in the next block. 